right to squander it all. Welcome to Attack of the Show. I'm Kevin Pereira. It's good to see you. And I'm Candace Bailey. We're coming to you live from the G4 Studios in Los Angeles. On the show today, Sarinda Swan from oh, the new yeah. show Breakout Kings will be here live oh, with some jailhouse oh secrets. Just met her. She's gorgeous oh and gosh. pretty and sweet. Oh <laughs> the court's just sweet. <laughs> Gets it on with a digital camera that shoots oh, DSLR yeah. quality pics and takes it to your pocket. Sounds Woo. very erotic. I, I don't like the video on that camera screen. Uh, plus, we're going to look at Candace in her underpants. Oh. You can see what I saw from that angle. Wow. All right. Our little girl did a photo shoot for Maxim, and we have the footage to prove it. Yeah. so fast! <laughs> I want you just... Uh, and today's Game Break with Morgan Webb delves into the world of indie games. Yeah. It's a much stranger world than you think, trust yeah. me. But there's some good ones today. You'll like it. But first, let's see what's popping on the interweb. I know what's popping at home after that B-roll, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? That was a boner joke, you in a bikini. That's gross. Let's go around the name. <laughs> Twitter today that somebody said that you need to get more excited like me at 18. <laughs> I'm just saying. What jerk hole wants me at 12? <laughs> like you've got, you've got it covered. You're you're good enough. I think I do. Yeah, you're, yeah. you're solid. Uh, and at number five today, we have a gymnast who just can't stop flipping out. Like in a fun or cool way, like impalement or a limb falls off. That was a cool way. He almost when a gym, stuck it. When a gymnast lands it or sticks it, as yeah. they say. Yo, eh. <laughs> oh, well, he did that. Next. I'm so sure. It's just what a practical skill to have. Let me just say that. Really. I'm a gymnast. Yeah, yeah. I'm just saying, gymnasts suck down all of our unemployment money, and they use crazy gymnast terms that America doesn't understand. Uh, hey, I am a gymnast. No, I, Candace, I don't mean you. You're one of the good ones. Oh. Talking about Are we the talking other, about gymnasts? Talking about the other gymnasts. <laughs> in at number four today, the latest from the most reliable source in fake news, The Onion. Yay! Today, a visitor to The Onion's morning show has some great advice for women. Oh, that's also not <laughs> all safe for work. No, it's not. I got to well, we've all been there, right? You have a crush on a guy. He's is erectioning you, but you're laying there wondering, does he even know I exist? Stand up, please. What do we do? You have to stand out from the crowd. When he stops to adjust his condom, flash him a little, I think you're cute smile before he slides himself back into you. Something to just plant the thought of you in the back of his mind. So how do you keep him interested? One thing you can do is you can have an accessory wall full of hats or scarves or fun bracelets. That way, you can throw one on to create a funky, fresh new look that will make him sit up and say, who's this new New girl sitting on my love it. Why not whip up some tasty treats while your guy is you? Wow. You just want to be sure that you have a mixing bowl, a shallow pan, some key ingredients, and a small oven under your bed. And when he you can have a fresh cookie ready for it. Oh, that would win me over. <laughs> Best advice ever. <laughs> Such sage advice. <laughs> Although those those guys are not classy, I, I'm I, I consider myself a class act. Oh, you, know. you do. I do, and I I try to show a woman that I care by tweeting her a, a sweet thank you while I'm getting mouth love. And, Kevin. Well, it's one of those things where look, my hands are free. It's the least I can do. <laughs> so if I if I know her name, I will search for her account. And I will do a total shout out. Kevin, that is awful. With the hashtag Bieber, so nice. more people notice it. That is not nice. I'm all class. Thank you, Jess. Oh. Uh, today's number three item comes to us from <laughs> one of the darkest and strangest corners of the internet, the YouTube artist. <laughs> it's like saying artist like that makes me feel like saying gymnast. Uh, <laughs> known only as I'm Tonetta. So sure. He was a gymnast. <laughs> <laughs> I bet. You've seen this dancer before, either on an episode of Attack of the Show or in your deepest, darkest nightmares. 
So in case you've forgotten him or blocked him out with months of expensive therapy, here's Tonetta. Hey man, get it past that precious old wood that bone. I'm so high, I need it. I got to cut the rug. Disturbing. Yes, yes, Anne. Um, there, there are lyrics in the song. Obviously, we can't play, well, any of them on television. But we're going to play a word game right now and try to make the lyrics broadcast. This will be fun. Let's play AOTS Mad Libs. Yay! All right, so Candace, uh, uh -huh. I'm going to need a noun, please. Any old noun. Okay, pumpkin. Pumpkin, fantastic. Let's get that in there. Pumpkin, fantastic. And I'm gonna need a gadget, Candace. Something you've used, maybe Nintendo. seen in a Best Buy. Oh, a Nintendo. Mm -hmm. All right. All right, yeah. Spoiler, going old school. <laughs> That's our girl. Um, a breakfast food, Candace. Something you've. Uh, cream of wheat. Up. Oh, cream of wheat. That's. Interesting. I like cream gonna, of wheat. I'm gonna put cream wheat. Just keep it nice and simple there. And I'm gonna need uh, the sound an animal, preferably a rooster, would make to, like, say, uh, wake up a farm. Okay, that is a very long, that's going to be hard to fit in here, so I'll just go ahead and do, I ran out of, ran out of space, but I did the best I could, so um, we're going to go ahead and try his lyrics now Yay! with your Mad Libs and see how it goes. That's going to be awesome. So here we go. It's a safer work version. <clears throat> I can't wait to put it in my pumpkin, uh -huh. uh, up my Nintendo, in my cream of wheat. I'm so horny, I could choke and choke on a... Yeah! Yeah! We did it! Save for TV! Totally did it! Good job, everybody! And that's how you play AOTS Mad Libs. It's that easy. Thank you. Two today, a violent conflict between an elephant and something terrifyingly unexpected. I had my trunk bit once, and I'm just I'm not gonna I ask. <laughs> I actually kind of wish you would. It's a, a story of one man's survival. Pass, <laughs> pass, pass. I'm just saying, if you want to go to a petting zoo sometime, I can show no. you some cool tricks. No. <laughs> Still ahead, Orson Welles meets the Muppets. Yay! And the results are terrifying. Stick around for our number one ATM. That's what we have to do. Yeah. Like little strips of celery. ATN featured a nipple-painted performer who's sure to haunt our dreams. This video left us with a lot more questions than answers. For starters, what's the name of the guy's dance show? Tweet us your responses at AOTS hashtag OMGROFLOL. If your response makes us do a creepy joy jig, we'll feature it on Friday's show. of Orson Welles. The star of radio, film, TV, and the stage sat down many years ago for a chat with Muppet Masters Jim Henson and Frank Oz. But that's not exactly what you're seeing today, because YouTuber Aaron Preacher made things a little more sinister. It was something that uh, you could get into and develop and, and turn into something else. Something you could develop. Something you could change. That's what you did, all right. <laughs> Puppets are very ancient entertainers. They don't just go back to the crib. They go back to the cave. I'm afraid they were beginning to show their age a little until you came along and dragged that whole squeaking box of dolls into the 20th century, into the mainstream. 
Don't you agree? Stay with us. A tricer, more like half a trice. We'll be returning with Miss Angie Dickinson. <laughs> what? I'm going to have yeah. nightmares after that video. That. <laughs> what? Orson Welles actually had a lot in common with the Muppets, if you think oh, about they it. Oh, both, they both went without chewing. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you want to try it again? Yes. You want to take two on that one? Yes. All right, let's pretend we just came out of the video, everybody. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, so good. You know, I think Orson Welles actually had a lot in common with the Muppets. They both ate without chewing. Of course. Oh. Just skip the rest. It's irrelevant now. <laughs> just go past it all. Or, or they went without chewing. Haven't you ever heard of anyone say that before? No, I actually have not. Well, people say it. <laughs> I'm sure they do. Hey! Right now it's time for a trip. Do you want to say it? No, by all means. Okay. <laughs> I mean, if you can. If you can, by all means. Into the mind of Drunk Old Ted. Yay! Yay! He's immature and emotionally stunted, but maybe he's ready to finally exhibit some personal growth. Here we go. Here we go. Hey, offenders, attack of the show posted my bail and sent me to Penis Beach, California to offer people sex advice. So strap on your rollerblades and let down your speedos. This is Sex Man on the Beach. Uncle Ted, my girlfriend's best friend asked her to videotape her having sex. Should I do it? Well, I have a question for you. You find a turtle on his back, struggling in the sun. What do you do? Goodness, man, I don't know. <laughs> this kind of perfection doesn't happen in nature. It was no accident. Right then and there, I knew he was a replicant. A pleasure model. Maybe he was special. No termination date. Oh my god, I just realized I'm not real either. I didn't see that coming. I didn't know how much time he had left, but I knew it didn't matter because I was going to terminate him in my van. Taking high quality pictures is getting easier and easier thanks to the Olympus EPL2 digital camera. Pictures will look just as good as a DSLR because of the TruePic 5 image processor, and you won't have to carry around a giant camera. You can also record 720p movies with manual control, learn photography with Live Guide, and apply lots of creative art filters, all for $550. What did Kevin just bring over and show you? It's an app on his phone, and we will not be showing it. it he took a normal picture of me, and it give. What? <laughs> I don't want to talk about it. Welcome back, Chris Hardwick! Yeah! <laughs> Kevin, will you, show, will you show me whatever it is that you... Absolutely. Later, okay. off camera. Absolutely. It is ridiculous, and I'm very angry at you. <laughs> <laughs> well, then let's just show the viewers. <laughs> let's just show <let's> the <laughs> Chewing! Um. <laughs> Everybody. Now, this is the exact size and weight as last year's Olympus ca uh, pin camera. It's just under four inches thick mm -hmm. with the lens. Mm -hmm. It only weighs about a pound, so it's really light. Would you rather carry this around or a normal size DSLR? I mean, I think it's a pretty obvious question that I, I mean, part of the reason why I don't have a super snazzy DSLR is because uh -huh. I travel so much. And I don't want to, I, I just can't carry an extra giant Big thing. Big and bulky. Yeah, exactly. So, uh, I mean, this. This is perfect. This is a perfect size if you want to take higher quality pictures than your than your normal smartphone, you know. Now, one problem with these cameras is that they're really slow to focus and take pictures. Right, right, right. But they have improved on this, so I'm going to I'm going to do this uh, just you'll see how fast to pow power on to first uh, picture. So I powered on and there, right there. That took no time at all. So whatever action is happening, you'll probably get to catch it. Unlike most of the times when you're like, 
Oh, wait, look at that. that! Oh, I missed it. That dog is humping a clown. Oh, he finished. I didn't get my camera up in time. Now you won't have that. I go to a lot of circuses. Yeah, now, it's it is not, out of that. Yeah, it's not continuously autofocusing like older models either, so you you won't get that. So it's, they well, did a nice job. Yeah. Good. It's got the usual Olympus stuff like art filters and the live guide photography tutorial, so these work like normal, right? Yes, they do, Candace Bailey. Art filters good. are a fave of ours. They make it my easy. My fave. My fave. <laughs> look at that. You can take good-looking pictures without having having any kind of photography knowledge, which is awesome for consumers and I'm sure infuriating to professional photographers. <laughs> like every time I use Hipstamatic, I'm like, awesome picture, and people are like, not really, because you didn't do that. Uh, the live guide is easier than ever. Changing color saturation, brightness, blurring, it's all just that, a slider away. That's Danny, Danny he's drunk Dan or something. Really cool. yeah. yeah, well, I'm really cool is objective. Yeah. Uh, what are those moves? I'll I have to get him to teach me those. Pretty slick moves. Okay, now I need a drum roll for this part. Yeah, you did get a real one. How do the pictures look? They look great! Yay! Outdoor photos have even exposure. They're bright, accurate colors. And they, all around, they look terrific. Um, these are the best. Why won't someone save those men? Those men, why don't they? <laughs> this is the best photo quality we've seen from an Olympus pen camera. Uh, low light's also really good. The flash might underexpose. Jo oh, just a little bit. That's uh, Angry Jerry. He's he's plotting someone's murder, clearly. Uh, <laughs> otherwise, pictures turned out clear and mostly blur-free. How's the video? Okay, the video is not perfect. It's it, it, mediocre, okay? Video is not great. Both indoor and outdoor video looks pretty digital. There's a lot of trailing. We expect it a little bit better since the pictures look so but great. It's not but bad. It's not terrible. It's no. not terrible, but but you will get a little bit of trailing. All right, it's only 550 bucks on Amazon.com, so let's rate it. Oh, four out of five! <laughs> With the exception of video quality, which is still not terrible, we like this camera a lot, and it is super affordable for what it is. All right, well, thank you, Chris Hardwick. Yeah! yeah. That's it for today's Get Into Prod. Hey, Chris, what are you thinking about right now? What boobies would look like on Muppets. <laughs> <laughs> and then. Coming up, another sack-crushing episode of Web Soup. Oh my god, that hurt! On today's show, the vivacious Allison Bree swings by. Plus, Chris Hardwick brings you chunky spring breakers, excited wieners, and of course, maggots being extracted from skull meat. Oh god, that hurts. Coming up next... Point your internet things to go to g4tv.com slash websoup for more on the show. That looks disgusting with the maggots coming out of the foot. Uh, anyway. Hey, I've got one word for you. <laughs> Botfly. Oh, oh, it's going to be awesome. It's okay, be let's awesome. go over to Kevin. Thanks, guys. Still ahead, Sarah Underwood will give you details on the new Final Cut Pro in the feed. Plus, Sarinda Swan is here to talk about busting out of jail. And later, Chris Gore faces off against the cast of Scream 4. So stick out of the house. Recruiting for a new sidekick, and I've chosen you. What's your health plan? I care, $20 copay. Dental? No dental. What about vacation time? No vacation. I need to see my family. I'm your family! News team, assemble! Hey, Sarah. <laughs> nice. Let's start the feed. <laughs> It's Wednesday, April 13th, and here are your top stories. Editing nerds rejoice! Apple just unveiled their long-awaited overhaul of Final Cut Pro, and it's cheap! Yay! Yes! The revamped editing suite has a ton of improvements for pros and consumers alike. An interface that's rebuilt from the ground up and looks as sleek as iMovie, 64-bit compatibility, and background rendering that makes painfully long renders a thing of the past. Yeah. Instead of a full studio suite, the new Final Cut will be available standalone in the App Store for only $300, which should lead to some very well-edited amateur nutshot videos. Yeah. yeah! The days of no sales tax e-commerce may be coming to an end if this senator has his way. An aide to Dick Durbin recently told CNET that the Illinois senator is planning on reintroducing a bill that will slap a sales tax on online retailers. Currently, people shopping with sites like Amazon, eBay, Overstock, and ThinkGeek enjoy a tax holiday in most states. 
But Durbin says this tax advantage hurts struggling brick and mortar stores and negatively affects retail sales as a whole. Seriously, Dick, don't be a dick. No. Screw sales tax. That is why I am from Oregon, y'all. We don't pay that crap. No, we don't. We don't pay it because we don't want to. Did you just, did you just get all street about sales tax? Yeah. All right. I got street about Oregon in sales That's, tax. Yeah. If you're planning on attending BlizzCon in October, prepare to dig a little deeper in your pockets. The price to attend Blizzard's annual two-day convention was just announced, and it's the third year in a row that it's gone up. Now con-goers will have to fork over $175, up 25 bucks from last year. To give you some perspective, Comic-Con's four-day weekend pass costs only 75 bucks, and single-day passes go for as low as $10. Tickets for BlizzCon will go on sale in two batches, May 21st and 25th, so start saving now, I guess. I'm Sarah Underwood, and you've just been fed. Now back to Kevin and Candace. Thank you, Sarah Underwood. Well, thank you, Sarah. You're welcome. As you just heard, the web tax man cometh in today's viewer poll, presented by AT&T, is will internet sales tax defer you from buying things online, yes or no? Ooh, log on to G4TV.com to vote right now. We'll have the results a little later on in the show. If you've ever wanted to know what lies at the end of the gravy rainbow, here we have answers. The gravy? Nope. All right, it's time for Who's Who on YouTube. <laughs> Last month, this catchy song seemed to come out of nowhere, scoring over 100,000 views on YouTube in just a few days. With its crazy visuals, jean shorts wearing front man, and hand puppet co-star, Gravy Rainbow left many people wondering if this was some kind of Tim and Eric style parody. Well, my friends, I have some good news. This is a real music video for a real song. It was created by New Zealand musician Luke Rowell. But Luke is much more than just one viral YouTube hit. As a kid, well before he was old enough to get into music, Luke played video games. Lots of video games. It was his desire to actually be the guy that creates video game music that sparked Luke's first adventure in creating music. In 1998, at the age of 15, Luke took music lessons and a year later started composing electronic songs without instruments using a free app called Jess Cola Buzz. By 2002, he had enough material to release his first album as Disaster Radio. We are used to skipping school. Now I'm sick of being cool. For the next few years, Luke continued experimenting with electronic music in his bedroom. Thanks to New Zealand's tight-knit indie scene, it didn't take long for Luke to find a fan base. He was soon getting radio airplay and invitations to perform at music festivals. In 2006, he signed up for a YouTube account, mainly so that he could favorite videos and share them with his friends. But YouTube became much more useful when Luke created and uploaded his first big-budget music video for the song, Awesome Feelings. His album, Visions, along with the help of Awesome Feelings, received critical acclaim in Vice magazine and was voted Best New Zealand Release of 2007, though it didn't find much of an audience on YouTube. In 2008, Luke applied for a $5,000 grant set up by New Zealand's government for artists to make TV shows, music videos, and more. In 2010, when the money finally came through, Luke knew just what to do with it. He called on the talents of his two roommates. Don Brooker, who creates special effects and movie makeup, crafted the Gravy Rainbow Puppet. His other roommate, animator Simon Ward, took Don's drawings and brought them to life. In its first days, Gravy Rainbow racked up thousands of views. But a week later, after it hit the blogs, Gravy Rainbow was a certified hit. We'll have a baby. In less than a month, the video is now at over 200,000 views and shows no signs of slowing down. Before work starts on his next album, Luke's launching a worldwide tour. Like what you hear? Well, Luke says he'll continue releasing his music on Bandcamp.com, where fans can name their price to download music. And Luke, when your tour comes to the U.S., we're hoping you can swing by Attack of the Show just so we can get a taste of some of that gravy rainbow. Escaped prisoners! You can't outrun the breakout kings. <laughs> Please welcome Sarinda Swan, everybody! 
Welcome to the program, Sorinda. Thank you, thank you. Thanks for having me. Uh, it's, it's our pleasure. Uh, you are not like some fake TV badass. I, I was told you have a rap sheet. I that do. is like a, just a mile long, right? Miles and miles. Did long. you really get booked on charges of something? What happened? I did go to jail. Yeah, I did. This is awesome. <laughs> this is awesome. Yeah, it sounded no, like I a did. field trip. Like, yeah, I, I went. I no went. big deal. I visited. No, actually, I was talking to people earlier, and they're like, oh, for the show, you went and did like a scared straight, kind of went in and saw everything. And I was like, no, actually, like, handcuffed, booked, sat in a cell. Some guy blew his nose in the wall and told me I was purdy. <laughs> um, that was amazing. That was really amazing. That um, was the warden. He was just was, establishing exactly, dominance. Right? Exactly. What happened? Mine. How did you land in jail? Um, I took a left-hand turn on a red light, which in, or on a on an orange red light, um, orange. <laughs> okay. And um, in, in save it for the judge. Right, What'd exactly. you do? I know, it was orange. It was orange. <laughs> um, and and I got pulled over, and they said, just hold on a second. And 20 minutes goes by, 30 minutes goes by. A paddy wagon pulls up. I'm like, great, let's have a block party, guys. Like, let's just let's just give me the ticket and go. And so I kind of had a bit of attitude. And he gets there, and uh, he's like, ma'am, get out of the car. I'm like. Okay, so I get out. He's like, man, put your hands on the top of the car. I'm like, is this Simon Says? Like, what are you doing? Yeah, did you think you were getting punked at this point? So at this like... point, I'm like, Ashton, where are you? Yeah. Like, this is ridiculous. <laughs> and so I put my hands on the car, and it's like, chk, chk. and I think within, like, by the second click, I was like, Whoa! Like, oh. I had no idea it's what was... It's too late to cry. You have to late. cry right away. While you're breaking the red light law, you right? start bawling. Just start in case bawling. they catch you Just camera. in case they catch me, yeah. so I'm, like, sincere. Yeah, and then they stuck me in a paddy wagon. They didn't tell me why I was going to jail. They just said that there was a warrant out for my arrest. Um, see, I am badass. Um, and I go, I go to jail, and I'm in there for eight hours, and they tell me that I have been arrested for five or six outstanding parking tickets. For parking tickets? Yeah, Canada. Canada's crazy. We have, like, amazing Wait, healthcare. You got, you got thrown in jail in Canada? Canada. That's, that's serious bad, like, badass dumb right they, here. They apologize to you when they put handcuffs on you in Canada. Right? Like, know, you have like, to be... I think to be a real badass to like, go to jail I'm there. I'm sorry about this. Yeah. yeah <laughs> <laughs> no, all my Canadian fans, they're like, oh, you're so L.A. now. This is terrible. <laughs> You've turned um, on them. I've turned. No, so I'm, six hours, did it scare you straight? Did you pay those parking tickets? I did. And at the end of it, they were like, well, you know, here's a court date and all this, or you could just pay it. And I was like, well, I... I, why did I have yeah. this option when I first got handcuffed? Yeah, this could have been settled on the internet. I didn't it, have to put fingerprints right? and ink or I anything like no, that. No, I know. And, and so it was like I made a couple of like jokes and walked out scowling. And it was, yeah, it was about 12 hours, the whole ordeal, wow. which was amazing. Well, so I'm, when I'm glad you survived unscathed. I did. I did know. you shank anybody on the way out? Just no, to... but I have like the most amazing back tattoo. <laughs> yeah, I got, I got, so, I got ink in there. Some guy with a big pen in the parking lot. Exactly. Just just dabbed just it on you. Stick in there. I'm like, <laughs> awesome. Yeah, it's great. I love it. Yeah. Um, so are you the only one with a rap sheet on Breakout King? Or? I think so. Yeah, yeah I, I think so, which is great. Because, I mean, my character is kind of the worst. Um, I mean, they're all really, really bad. We've got Shay, who's kind of our, our gangster, but he's sort of like the go-to order guy. Mm -hmm. We've got... Um, uh, Jimmy, who is amazing, he plays Lloyd, and he's sort of our brilliant genius. You don't quite know why he's in jail. He has right. the longest sentence. And well, t uh, take a step back, Breakout Kings. It's it's you guys, it's a ragtag group of, yeah. of inmates that are set loose to catch people that are breaking out of jail, right? Yeah, it's like this hodgepodge group of half U.S. Marshals, half. Um, criminals mm -hmm. and they made a deal with us saying basically you can get out of maximum security go into minimum security and every fugitive you catch you get one month off now other than the fact that someone could probably google your mugshot in canada um <laughs> i didn't get a mugshot did thank god you didn't get a mugshot yeah, no <laughs> no oh, that's a bummer i know right um did did you get any special training to be uh did you uh, have to murder anybody did they send I did. you out or that yeah? was you know kind of the the whole um welcoming to the show they're like welcome here's a gun um <laughs> and no, an intern they, go and ahead an intern. yeah exactly no they were very sweet but i uh Obviously, I, I trained gymnastics for a really long time, so I was like, I want to be active, I want to do lots of stunts, and because she obviously is a murderer, I was like, I want to do some form of martial arts, and so I did uh, Krav Maga. I started... Really? I started, oh, yes. I started, I, started, yeah. uh, I started doing Krav Maga, and it was amazing. It's, it's kind of... Um, your defense is the best offense. Like, you basically debilitate them before they can do anything to you. It's not like... That sounds a lot like offense. If you're striking yes. first, <laughs> right? that sounds a lot like... Well, no, you're not, like, you're not walking up to somebody and just, like, karate chopping them, being like, I thought you were a rapist. You know? Like, <laughs> you're, not, you're not making... You're... It's a valid argument. Yeah. You're it's not, a valid argument. It's not so much about prejudgment as opposed to, you know, if somebody's coming at you, you then know what to do and not just, you, you know... You sense the... a sudden movement, then you next now. Then you next, yeah. Got if it, that granny's going for a purse too fast... Boom. Just <laughs> uh, we, take her down. Um, unfortunately, we ran out of time. I'd love to have you put me in a chokehold or slam somebody. But if Not you come on back, Sarenda, we'd, I would love we'd, to do we'd love to. Yay! Pleasure Yay! to have you here. Thanks so much. You. You're the kindest criminal I've ever met. Sarenda Swan, everybody. Thank you guys you. can catch Breakout King.
Kings on A and E. And coming up next, we'll take you behind the scenes of Candace's Maxi photo shoot. Stick around. Thank you very much. That was great. Really this portion of Attack of the Show is brought to you by Dentine. The Safe Breath Alliance endorses Dentine. Practice safe breath. Fail. Your dad. Major fail. 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 Fail, 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 fail. You lose. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I, you're available in the dead tree format now. Is that correct? Yes, I shot for Maxim. It was fun. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. So, uh, oh. how naked did we get it? <laughs> Here's the behind the scenes footage. Didn't even... Hey, this is Candace Bailey, and you're behind the scenes at my Maxim photo shoot. My secrets to preparing for a Maxim photo shoot are I worked out for most of the week before. <laughs> I did some lunges, I did some squats, I did a day of sit-ups. I tried to not eat too much candy this week, so I try to stay in shape so that when something like this comes up, I'm not busting my butt the whole time. So these are a couple of my gymnastics moves in my photo shoot outfit. All right, so this is a side aerial. I think the key to the show is just have fun and be able to roll with the punches and do live TV. I mean, you never know what's going to happen, so you just have to go with it. Make fun of yourself. I do all the time. So squeeze it like cleavage? Is that what we're doing? Oh, yeah. This is my first outfit. It's a lot of clothes. <laughs> These shoes are a little big, but we're hiding it with some insoles right here. Let's get a close up of that. Girl on girl action. <laughs> All right, let's go. The best thing about my job is that I get to go to work, get in hair and makeup, feel all pretty, wardrobe, and uh, do live TV and just be myself for an hour of the day, and I get paid for that. I got four great outfits, and I've had a blast. I've had so much fun. It's my first big photo shoot like this. You guys can check it out. It's on newsstands now, and wow. Please don't draw any mustaches on my face. No, go for the forehead penis. <laughs> Please, that sounds perfect. <laughs> Are you guys ready to feel old? No, no, but all right. Okay, well, the first Scream movie came out 15 years ago. Oh, yeah. She's already dead to me, but maybe this movie will finally kill off Courtney Cox. <laughs> Do you like scary movies? What's your favorite scary movie? Joltmaster Wes Craven returns to the franchise that redefined the slasher genre, Scream 4. This time around, Ghostface is looking to bury Sydney and her friends for good. Go ahead if you have the guts. Now, it's been 11 years since the last Scream movie. Why do another one now? I think it was uh, a sense that yeah, it's been a decade. It's the decade that kind of, uh, you know, gave birth to and social networking, smartphones, blogging, all that stuff. What's going on? It's not public information. It's all over the internet. It is? It's very contemporary, you know, the technology aspect of it and the, the new rules and the cliches and what works, what doesn't work, how they broadcast it within generations, they just get smarter and smarter, and it's much harder to scare them. It was the killer's voice from Stab, or, I mean, you know, from your life. I love that, you know, this film is sort of most like the first film to me. It's great to just be back and be able to do this character again. How does it feel to be part of the new generation of Scream actors that will either live or die? It's fun, and like you said, it's one of those things that everyone keeps being like, you guys are the new generation, and I keep saying, yeah, if, if everyone survives, we are. <laughs> 
the Scream films uh, really just blow away all the cliches of horror movies. How has that impacted other horror films? When the first one came out, it was self-referential and pop culture and, you know, the 10 years that have, have gone through, you know, we've got all the Saw films and all the sort of paranormals, you know, that we can reference all these different things. One generation's tragedy is the next one's joke. It's like the movie is commenting on itself while it's right. in progress. Right, it's clever. They make it work. They don't, you know, dumb it down for the audience, which I think the audience always appreciates. Does that mean that I'm not going to live as long as these two? No, maybe. What went into the decision to shoot the film in 2D? My wife and I had just done a film uh, where the studio had kind of imposed on us that it has to be converted to 3D. And we felt like that didn't really help the film that much. So I was very happy that it was going to be in 2D. Is it too late to add a scene where someone ruins the ending on Twitter, but they get killed? I mean, maybe in the director's version we can get that in. I hear you like horror movies. It's for you. After terrorizing audiences for years, will Scream 4 finally bury the hatchet? Most likely in someone's head. Here are the results from today's viewer poll presented by AT&T. We asked you, will internet sales tax deter you from buying things online? Turns out, 41% of you said that you would start heading back to brick and mortars. 59% of you said you wouldn't mind a little extra sales tax on your Amazon purchases. We'll see about that. <laughs> Coming By the up, way, yeah. how many years have I been doing this show? Four? Five? Five. How many Maxim photo shoots have I had? <laughs> You're a guy. <laughs> what? I can arch my back with the best of them. <laughs> I know. Coming up, we've got games you've probably never heard of. Morgan's here. Hey! Yeah. <laughs> Coming up tomorrow on an all-new Attack of the Show. We'll show you a robotic seagull and a shoulder-mounted avatar that you can use for video chats in Robot News. Then Sarah Underwood hangs out with Chris Hardwick at Meltdown Comics to check out his Nerdist podcast with the cast of the cult film Black Dynamite. And we've got two great war-themed games for your iPad. Get your war on with a game of pinball inspired by the movies Platoon and Navy Seals. See it tomorrow. Are you tired of what big game studios are releasing these days? Great. We've got the solution in Game Break. Oh, look, everybody. X plays Morgan Wells! Really need these glasses. You're so hipster. I'm pretty hipster. You're so with it. I love it. Um, um, all right, there are a lot of great games coming out in the next couple of weeks, but but not this week. Not this week. <laughs> um, but it's been that's, a slow couple of weeks. To in be game fair, land. though. To be fair, okay. that doesn't stop you from having fun. It does not. There are some good indie games. First up, The Dishwasher Vampire Smile. This game is awesome. Okay, so it's all black and white except yeah. for the blood. Yeah, and there's lots of it. This is a sequel to The Dishwasher Dead Samurai, right? Yeah, it's one of those games where you. you Sort of follow the story and you're like, I don't know what just happened, right. but now is the part where I take my sword and I beat up some people. Right. Um, words, 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 now heads are coming off. Exactly, so yeah. there's like two separate campaigns, uh, you can play two different characters, they play essentially the same way, right. um, and they just hack and slash. The game is actually difficult and I have to give it some credit for that because right. there aren't that many difficult games out there anymore. It's a little like alien hominid in that way. Yeah, I totally agree, and, yeah. and it's a fun side school to play with some friends. Yes. Uh, it's got the co-op in there, of course. Uh, how much does the game cost if we want to play it. This is only on Xbox Live Arcade, right? Exactly. Uh, 800 points, aka $10. Okay, 10 bucks. <laughs> so worth it then, right? It's fun. Uh, this game is absolutely worth it, and I'm going to give you guys a little secret pro tip. Uh-oh. 
press the B button a lot. Ah, <laughs> that was my issue. I B got it. B button. That's the red one, right? Equals win. Noted. Yes. Uh, next up, we have Chime Super Deluxe. Now, this is a PSN exclusive. Exactly, it, and it's very, it's a puzzle game, and it, it's sort of music-based. It feels a little mm -hmm. bit like Tetris meets Luminous in a way. It's exactly what it is, yeah. Yeah, um, so as the bar goes across the screen, actually, I don't think it actually does that much when it goes across the screen, um, but you're trying to basically cover up a certain amount of the board. Right. Well, it'll activate the, the squares that you have, yeah, and if you're yeah, building yeah. them while it goes by, then they count, but if you're still building them, then it doesn't, or something of that nature. Yeah, there's something like that. I don't, look, if you get, <laughs> if you get remotely heavily medicated this game you can play for hours it's actually it actually is it's true it actually is really fun it's i was fun. expecting to be like oh, this is boring and then like you know two hours later i'm like Shh. right <laughs> and it's i'm activating philip glass yes <laughs> um, it's got a cool soundtrack and now does. it's got multiplayer right yes exactly and you can sort of steal your other people's you know your play your other players combos and that kind of thing. That's fun. Yeah, and it's exactly. The good thing is the percentage of the proceeds are going to go to charity, which is always nice as well. I love gamers giving back. Yes. Um, but here's the thing, it's 10 bucks on the PlayStation Network, so at that price, what It's do you a think? good game, but that's real expensive. It's very expensive, yeah. It Especially is real since expensive. It, they did add more songs from the 360 version, yeah. but not that many, so. Yeah. If you if you haven't played it, I say go for it. It's a fun game, but if you have the 360 version, that's a steep price. Absolutely. All right, uh, very quickly, there's yes. Swarm, which is a cross between Lemmings and Super Meat Boy. Kind of. Yeah, you control a whole, whole little group of buddies, and there's some interesting ideas in the game uh, because there isn't one that's the leader really, and right. you can lose them as the game goes on. Um, a lot of interesting ideas. There is a demo you can download and check it out. Um, I don't like that you can't really advance until you get a certain number of points at the end of the level, so right. you end up p playing some of the levels over and over again, and that's just a bummer. Right, but interesting concepts, cool ideas. And really amazing concepts. If you're interested in game design, check it out. There's some great ideas. All right, that one is 1,200 Microsoft points or 15 real world dollars yes. on Xbox Live. Worth it? Uh, download the demo if it's interesting to you. Definitely check I would it agree. out. Thank yes. you so much, Morgan Webb, everybody. That's it for Game Break. Okay, so uh, earlier, right before Gadget Prawn, I uh, showed the photo of you. That I... Here's the thing. Here's, I want to show the photos. Here's the thing. Uh, 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 Joshua Brentano, one of our executive producers, said, hey, search the app store for the word herps. Let's see what comes up. And there's an app called Herps and Perps for like <laughs> for a buck. And here's what it does. You snap a photo of someone, and, it, oh! and it'll give them a little treat. That's Scott Michelle. He's one of our producers. Let's scoot along here. Who else do we have? Who else do we have? Anyone Let's pull else? up some more. I know we got some more. Oh, oh sexy, that's a, that's, Kevin. That was actually before we treated it. Chris I just got a little bit there, but let's see. Uh, let's see Miss Underwood. Oh. Looking pretty. Oh my God. Oh, from Thank Maxim. Thank you for this one. Morgan Webb. Chris Gorsuch.